Hi, this is Nick from PrimeLoops.com. Right now I want to show you how to use the sidechain feature on the auto filter to do some pumping bass effects. Here's what I'm talking about. So now let's go through and create that from scratch. So here we have a new live set. This is what it looks like when you first open the program. The first thing we're going to want to do is create two MIDI tracks, one for the bass and one for the kick drum. A nice shortcut to create a MIDI track in Ableton Live is Command or Control, Shift, T. I'm going to create two of those, one for bass and one for kick. I'll name them accordingly. The shortcut for renaming a track is Command or Control, R. Sidechain, bass. There we go. The next step is to load up a couple of presets. First I'll quickly load up a bass preset. Next I'll find a basic kick drum. I'll open up Impulse, the electronic kits, and let's go with Trezor 1994. The next step is to create a couple of basic patterns. I'm just going to create a one bar loop by double clicking in one of these empty clips in the kick track. Right click down here and select quarter note on the grid. Now I have four quarter notes to work with. I'll fill up each quarter note with a bass drum hit and then preview it. So far so good. Next I'm going to create a bass clip. Again I'm just going to right click in the clip view and this time I'm going to choose one bar. That's because I'm going to trigger only one note for an entire bar. I think G1 will do. Here's what we have so far. Now that sounds terrible, but that's where the side chain on the auto filter comes in. I'm going to move up to my audio effects here, drag in an auto filter and pop it on my bass track. Now I'm going to enable side chaining by first clicking on this downward facing triangle and then clicking on the side chain button. Next I'm going to draw audio from the kick track. You can leave this on post effects. And now we can simply manipulate the filter frequency. For now I'll bring that down to around say 840 hertz with a little bit of a resonant bump. Now I'll start this playing back again and start adjusting the envelope parameter. As I tweak that parameter you'll hear the bass start to pump with the kick drum. I've got my envelope at negative 84.7. To further tweak the sound to your taste, tweak the attack, release, and gain parameters. I'll bring the attack down to, say, 4.37 milliseconds, and I'll bring the release down to, say, 114 milliseconds. The last step is to manipulate the cutoff frequency until you find a good spot. And there you go, with a little bit of work you have a nice side-chained bass sound that you can use in just about any track. I'll see you next time for more audio production tips and tricks. Stay creative!